向那胜利前程，为我国家争荣光。我们的一直比刚强，热血沸腾，士气。
quickly! Grab my gun! Disarm them quickly! Sir, give the command for Sergeant Tongue to mobilize an all-out campaign to avenge these insults. And you think you can? Huh? Do you? Sir. Why is it then that every time the partisans come to town, they run rings around you? Sir! Corporal! According to our latest intelligence reports, the leader, Chien Kuo Yen, and the partisans are now set up at Lamptin Village. I want them all caught, sir! And my orders are their leader, Chien Kuo Yen, is to be captured alive, sir! <laughs> Cut it shorter. That is too long. We can fix it later. I get it. You're only thinking of yourself. <laughs> Don't be so stupid. We've a job to do. I'm not going on like this. Telegram for Shaolong. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, that feels better. You know, your mother's fond of you. She'd like you to get married. But uh, your father doesn't agree. Father is a bad man. But he sometimes gets confused. He loses touch with reality. 
Don't worry. I'm sure he'll listen to me. If it wasn't for the Japs, we'd have a peaceful life. Huh? Huh? I've heard things are happening. Ahami will be here soon. Yeah, soon. Did you get through to Chen? Sister. You better go home to your father, okay? Oh. Hey, you may. When you see father, will you tell him? I'll be home shortly. Right. Brother Chen, you see you, May? Quan Yi, was that you, May? Lost her eyes out of something? We met face to face before, but she failed to recognize me. <laughs> What's the matter? You've got an excellent disguise. <laughs> oh, Chu Sang, any news of the radio? Yes, they're most grateful. You've done your job well. <laughs> Once I received your telegram, we moved out. The Japanese were badly defeated. What a battle. I'm only sorry that the Japanese still haven't surrendered. Oh, we'll talk later about this business. I'd better get back, or else Father will be in his cups already. I don't know, Manager Pai. Guan Ying is so obstinate. She has a mind of her own. And what's more, she gets on so well with Li Xiaolong. Just a few days ago, he came and asked to marry her. <laughs> I haven't agreed yet, but even so, it's difficult for me to tell her about you, that now you want her. Now look here. Here's 200. You get Kuai Ying to agree? To be my concubine and bear me a son, I will deposit my villa in your name. If she marries that young man, what can he give in your old age? I know. I understand your point, but I, uh... If you do agree, I have another idea. Uh, well, what is your idea, then? Well, Lee has already proposed to her. You approve it. What? At the wedding, bring her by sedan to my home. Then, after we have concluded our arrangement, it will be far too late for her. She will have to accept it. Uh, well... Oh, my dear, you're here. Of course. How's business? Uh, it's not good. It's going badly. Hi! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is the matter with you, huh? Have you forgotten that I'm unable to read? Uh, no, my dear. Yes, my dear. Please, keep your voice down. Why should I keep my voice down? Pooey! Oh. You realize that I've been away just a few days, and now I find that you've gone to pieces. Oh, uh, well... Uh... All your food, your clothes, I brought you everything that you possess. But you say that I mustn't talk to you as loud as I want to. Uh, yes, before you came, I was nothing. I was nothing. <laughs> mm, that's a bit better. Now just learn to behave yourself. Uh, yes. Hand over. Yes. Is that all there is? That's all there is? I haven't touched any of it. What's that? You are a liar. Give you half, and I'll give the rest to you in a few days' time. Yeah. <laughs> 
look at him, as thick as a pig. He's revolting, a real moron. <laughs> How right you are. He's not that bad to look at, I suppose. But in fact, he's an absolute sham. Each time we go to bed, it's over in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Scissors. I have been practicing this move for the past 12 years. So! Hey, although he's a big man, he moves quite nimbly. Huh? And he knows a variety of movement. <laughs> skills have been learned over the years, following the instructions of my ancestor, who was a great warrior, mighty Chen Chang. He was ferocious and formidable. He died in a sword fight with Guan Pei. It was a terrible day for a family honor. and our leaders. Salute! Japan to his imperial troops. The best weapon he can offer us is the will to fight. The samurai spirit will win this war. Right now it is being challenged. But have no fear. We are not daunted by peasants and partisans. Tomorrow we will move to leech our village to complete our imperial mission. <laughs> Ancestor Jian Chang was a great warrior. It is written in ancient times that he met the mighty Quan Pei. No one dared fight a duel, so the soldiers attacked together, approaching from all sides. The battle lasted a long time, and many soldiers died.
Papa! What's the matter? The Japs are coming! What? What do you mean? They're heading towards the village? Their orders are to quell the whole countryside. I think they'll set up their base here. There are too many, we can't fight them all. Huh? Tell Lee to take the partisans to the mountains. I'll stay here. And me? You go too. Okay. Perfect position. Ah, oh, hey. oh, hey. 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 Congratulations, hey. Thank you. 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 Thank Japan? Therefore, we 
we enter this leecher village? Remember, maintain good order. <laughs> This nonsense going on. It's good to see you. Get yourselves inside and get some food, okay. Daniel. And you too. You make sure you keep a close watch out here. I see. Huh? The Japs aren't leaving? It seems they intend to stay. There's only one thing we can do. Attack! Right. right. Kill them all. Hmm. Hey, I'm worried about the transmitter. Yeah. Where is it? I've hidden it in a coffin. But if the Japs stay here, it's impossible to use. Huh? Don't worry about it. Jan Kualing will think of something. Oh, 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 oh,
life. Spare my life. I beg you. Spare my life. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, spare me. Spare me. Oh, oh, have mercy, spare me. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 have mercy, spare my life. Oh, 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 please. Oh, 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 oh please, please, spare my life. Oh, 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 please, please, spare my life, spare my life. I want it sealed, but it beyond the hamster troops. Sir! Out. That girl can fight. Hmm? <laughs> 
Guilty yet? Not yet, you're not, but you're going to. Oh no, Captain, no, we just want to. Shut up! You can't even charm the knickers off a girl. You're useless, sir. No, sir. Do you think our kung fu is better, I? No, no, no way, Captain. She can't compare with you. Sergeant, yes, sir. Tell the mayor to hand over the murderer. Yes, sir. Was it you who murdered my soldier? Nonsense. If I'd known you would frame me, I would have murdered all of them now, wouldn't I? You have a big mouth. You would not dare to kill an Imperial soldier. Hmm. First you say I killed him. Now you say I wouldn't dare kill him. We must think of a way to get some food through to him. I've been wondering about that. I'll wait till night, then sneak in. Once or twice will be all right, but after a while, they'll get you. Well, what shall we do then? I've an idea. Hmm? I know just the man to help. Who? Erka G. Just stay there. I bought some food for you. Who is there? No one is permitted to enter this room at any time. Yes, sir. Three years ago, a man died here. He was killed by slow starvation. It was a terrible death. He haunts the place. His spirit is restless. <gasps> Hoping to release him from his torment, we offer up sacrifices to him in this room. Please, will you grant us this favor? Let Urkoji visit here every day with a plate of food. <clears throat> we would be most grateful to you, and the ghost would be at peace. Hmm. Ah, quarrel is for those damn partisans. If you do not make trouble for our troops, then we have nothing against you. You have our permission. Oh. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Corporal! Sir! Tell Sergeant Major that this man 
Eso la abre. From today, Erka Jir will bring food to you. I hope that you eat well. Mama, 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 mama. To all gods and spirits and ye nether creatures, please listen to what I have to say. Ah. Firstly, I make an appeal to great saints. <laughs> Secondly, I call on holy monks. <laughs> and thirdly, I call on those who did good works. <laughs> and for the mighty soldiers. <laughs> and fifth, I... Bring him here. We can't find him. But the signal says, so he's here. Follow me. Sir. Sir. Do you mean this Lance Corporal is a gorilla?
And then the poor old woman decided to quit. She closed the door on her home and packed all her goods. And when her son saw she'd gone, he lost all his inhibitions and went mad. He became well known as uh, uh, exhibitionism. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <coughs> So, during the time of the Ming Dynasty, a notorious pirate, Hu Feng, changed over sides and started collaborating with the Japanese, attacking the entire length of the coastline. The Ming found they couldn't defend it, and the people suffered horribly. Until one day, a group of Ming loyalists gathered together a partisan army to fight back the pirates. Ah, oh, that's the right idea. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, but they were defeated, and the pirates brought in the Japanese, who killed our people, and established tax collection centers in our villages. It was terrible. Families were ruined and fortunes lost. The land was left untilled and crops unharvested. But, as Confucius says, the wicked shall reap a poor crop. It's true. At the time, there lived a man called Chi Chi Quan, a noble warrior. He was very brave and a good leader. Under orders of the Ming court, he was commissioned to train up a body of men. 8,000 soldiers of the highest caliber. They specialized in sophisticated weaponry, which caused great havoc. With Chi Chi Quan at the head, they marched forward to meet the Japanese in battle. And what a battle! The Japanese fought long and hard. But by the end of the bloody day, there were corpses lying everywhere. And they were all Japanese. Those that still remained alive begged for mercy and vowed they'd never come again to attack China. They were broken men that went back. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 
please. Good. That's very good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You are very polite to the Imperial Army. Yes, sir. A great flatterer. Yes, sir. I report this to Captain Tian Chung. I let you serve food in our mess. Thank you, sir. Now rub for my chicken. Yes. Hmm? I, uh, I told those stupid Chinese to give it to you as a present. Please go ahead, sir. There's no worry. I've tasted it already. It's good. It's got no poison. All right. God. Very good. This Chinese food. Mm, ravishing. Most nourishing. Succulent. Excuse me, Captain. There's no rice. Let him eat meat. Huh? Yes, sir. Bye. Nah, I'm going. Such a mountain. Better advise me, Shallow. Yes.
Captain, sir. Huh? No more bullets. Huh? Quick! Let's go, let's go, quick. Come on, come on. 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 Come on,
Kill them all. Under my orders, we mustn't force the Japs to replace the captain. He's an imbecile. He's much more useful to us alive. Mm. <laughs> captain? Mm. You look tired. You must have been brave today in battle. For me to be the great warrior is an honor I shan't forget.
Sergeant. Sir. Tell them to get my dinner ready. Yes, sir. Oh. Come here. Good evening. <laughs> Captain, sir, I'm here. Hmm. Uh, what are your wishes, master? There's no need for you to be over polite. Uh, it's my job, it's my job. I want you to look after the officer's mess, do you agree? Oh, thank you very much. I'll never forget you, sir. In the village you can ask anyone you want and they will all tell you the same thing. I am the best cook, a famous cook. <laughs> all right, all right. From now on then, you will be in charge of all my feeding arrangements. <laughs> yes. Yes. Send in provisions tomorrow morning. Uh, uh, What's wrong? You don't want the job? Uh, I can't. I dare not. Look, if you do right by us, we'll do right by you. Collect from your enemies. Take all their food. I will protect you. Yes, sir. Your food is here, mister. This money, I've not taken a penny of it. Do me a favor, take it back. I've decided not to do it. Well, you've made the wrong decision there. Do you think you can welch on a deal? We shook hands on it, you can't back out. Well, it's like this. Uh, you see, I've got this problem. I see this Lee fellow is worrying you, isn't he? Huh? Hmm. I have an idea about that. What's wrong? It's... It's... Boss Pie. He wants to get this clock to be his concubine. And he's going to betray me to the Japanese. We'll have to put a stop to that. Here, Pie. There is no need for hatred. Let me give you some advice. We're all Chinese. We can settle this on our own, so don't bring in the Japanese. No need to listen what others are saying, because Wang took my money and did give me his word, so I went and lost my temper with him, but I didn't mean it. Mm -hmm. I'd never go ahead and betray my own people. <laughs> what I really don't understand is why you felt you needed a concubine. I have to, for the future. I need a girl to give me a son and carry on my line. But why does it have to be Quan Ying? She's engaged to Li Shaolong. I like her. She's so much prettier than any of the other women. Surround him! Wait, wait. He's the one. Don't let him go. I want him alive. Wait. Don't move. No. Not you.
You may. You can't go. And why can't I go out there? You don't let me fight with the Japanese. You look down at me, don't you? I haven't just come here to eat all of this food. Hm. You've got it wrong. You can't take them on now. You can't show yourself. You're the person they're looking for. That doesn't mean anything. I'm looking for a chance to kill as many Japanese as I possibly can. So you think you're brave. If they catch you, Uncle Lin will be in trouble. No, he won't. It's my problem. The Japanese are after me. They don't want to take my father. Sister, listen, Shaolong's right. They don't care what you say. Brother, brother, leave me alone. He's the commander. You're his deputy. Wouldn't you agree with him anyway? <laughs> Anyone try to stop me? Sister. Stop fighting. Oh, if you're afraid of the Japs, then I'm not. Oh. Ah. Oh. What now? You stay here. You better be careful. I'll go and follow her. You may be in here. She was here. She wanted to go and find Pai. I told her not to. I told her she should find Chan first. She wouldn't listen. Japanese soldiers, for you the war is over. There's a ceasefire. Huh? Quick, okay. surround them. Don't let them yeah. escape. Yeah. Huh? Come out. What's going on? Are you trying to trick us? Who the hell are you? Chen Kuolian. Take me in. I want to see the captain. Oh, so you are. Bring him here. Captain, sir. He says he's Chen Kuolian. What's that? You're Chen Kuolian? You? Well, what's the matter? Huh? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> 
Captain Tian, as a Chinese secret agent, I must advise you that your emperor has given the order for you to stop the war and surrender to the Chinese government. What's that? Did we receive any orders? Captain, sir, radio's broken. I don't know. God damn it! Why didn't you tell me? Please, come and listen from our radio. Excuse me. into this room? Uh, months ago, earlier than you. This is Central Radio Station. There is to be an address by the General Commander of Japanese Forces to the Japanese soldiers in China, ordering them to stop the fighting and surrender. This is the General Commander speaking. Under the order of our Emperor and the Chinese government, all Japanese soldiers are to stop fighting. Keep your weapons and equipment temporarily and wait till the Chinese government take over. This is an order to all of the Japanese army, signed by His Highness the Emperor. This is Central Radio Station. There is to be an address by the General Commander of Japanese forces to the Japanese soldiers in China, ordering them to stop the fighting and surrender. This is the General Commander speaking. Under the order of our Emperor and the Chinese government, all Japanese soldiers are to stop fighting. Keep your weapons and equipment temporarily and wait till the Chinese government take over. This is an order to all of the Japanese army, signed by His Highness, the Emperor. Okuche, oh, you've come at the right time. Call Captain Lee. The war is over. We won the war! <laughs> Huh? Huh? You said victory? We, 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 we won the war? We won the war! We won the war! We won the war! We won the war! We won the Stop calling from going with fires to Gongubai. Good. Stop! Stop! What's going on? Better take Kuai Ying back home. It's all over. What? The war, it's over. Let's see if you win, or if I win the fight first. Stop it, stop it. Oh, but you shouldn't blame your husband for your trouble. No! Let me teach him lessons he won't forget! <laughs> Oh my God! How come it's you? Forgive me, my dear. I'll never do it again. What did you say? Speak up! You still want to know it, huh? Still? No, I won't.
lost his touch. Captain, sir, it's over their shoulder and not from the back. Uh, thank you, Sergeant. Do you remember that? The special whip throw? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, the captain has become a useless rag. He's good for nothing. You're right. Quite useless. <laughs> Thank you for your instructions, Captain. I wanted to pay you back for all those lessons when I had to let you in. Now you're exposed. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, thank you, Sergeant. In fact, Captain, you're no damn good at all. Huh? Congratulations, you got a good son in on that. Hey, Uncle Jeff, how come you don't congratulate him? <laughs> Why should I do that all the time? <laughs> 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 